Hi, today I'm going to look at a calculation for a simple linear regression. In the previous four videos, I took you through the process of creating a scatter graph and finding out the regression equation. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate it using the equation. So we have a regression equation, y is equal to a plus bx. So here's our formula, y is equal to a plus bx. So we're going to use this to help us find out the values of a and b which are important using variables y and x. And in this example, we have two variables, GDP per capita expressed in thousands of dollars and life expectancy. We recall that the y variable is known as your dependent variable and the x variable is your independent variable. Therefore, the variable y depends on what happens to x, x influences y. You might have some theoretical reason to suggest that life expectancy depends on GDP per capita. So we're going to call life expectancy your y variable. And we're going to call GDP per capita our x variable. And by calling them x and y, it actually suits the formula that we have here below the screen. So we need to break this formula down. Notice that this b formula and this a formula are part of the original least squares regression line, y is equal to a plus bx. And within the a formula, you'll notice that we have b. So this is telling us that we should calculate b first. Now let's take a look at b in isolation. Our formula for b has n, which represents the number of coordinates. In our example here, we are talking about countries and we have 10 countries. So our value for n in this case will be 10. So I'm just going to put it down here just to remind us later on when we need it for the calculations. On the top line, we have sigma, which is the sum of x multiplied by y minus sum of x times sum of y. And below, n times the sum of x squared minus the sum of x to be squared. Within this one problem, I'm going to break it up into four problems. And I'm going to tackle the top left first, then the top right, and likewise with the bottom. So let's take a look at the top line. Because I know this is x and this is y, I'm going to follow what the top line on the left actually tells me to do. So create a heading x, y, and we'll do the calculation x multiplied by y. We can double click on the bottom right hand corner of the cell. So there we have our xy, which the formula had actually told us to do. Next we can get the sum of xy. We click on the first colon, click on the last, close your bracket. Okay, so that's the sum of your x, y, which we have here. We'll put in at n at the end. On the top right, we have sum x by sum y. So again, we go back to our x column, and we need also sum up these values. Again, we can repeat what we had just done, but for this column. And there's your sum of x. Again, we do the same for sum of y. We can just scroll this across and that should do the calculation for us for sum of y. Now we have the top line prepared, I'm just gonna work on the bottom. Here we need to square our x values. So I'm gonna represent that with this heading. This is how we represent x squared. So again, equals bracket, x to power 2. Okay, what, what we need to do is drag this down to where we want it to go. We do not want to go in this area here because this is for the sum of. So again, in the formula, we need to sum of x squared. So we can just drag this across and we'll get the sum of those values for x squared. If you don't want to use that, you can just type in what we have up here, equals sum e2 colon e11, 
future brackets and I'll calculate the sum of these values. So there we have most of the information ready for us for the B formula. On the bottom right of the B formula, we have sum of x to be squared. We already had this sum of x value calculated here. Okay, now it's just a matter of putting these values in for B. So the top line, n is 10, so I can put 10 in here, and we need to multiply that by the sum of x, y. So n is 10 multiplied by sum of x, y, I can just click on the cell, and that will give me my number for the top left. Likewise, for the top right, equals sum x, multiply sum y, close your bracket, and we have the top right of the B formula, and we'll tackle the bottom of B, which is again is 10 multiply sum x squared, and the bottom right is sum x to be squared. So now we have four of those values that I mentioned at the beginning, and we're going to put them all together then in order to find out our value for B. So working on the top line, it's the top left minus the top right, which we have here, the top left minus top right. And for the bottom, we have the bottom left minus the bottom right. And finally, it's the top line divided by the bottom. And there we have our answer for B, minus 0.43675. Okay, and that's telling us that there's a positive relationship between life expectancy and GDP per capita, which may be expected. The wealthier the country is, maybe the higher life expectancy we have. Now to further analyze this, we need to complete the regression equation, and that requires A. So A is more of a straightforward calculation. Again, we've, I'm going to follow this as two parts, the left and the right. So we need to calculate the, we need to calculate the sum of y divided by n. So it equals bracket sum y divided by n, which is 10. And we'll calculate our second side. We leave out the negative for the time being. So B times b multiplied by sum x over n. So I need to reopen a new bracket, sum x divided by 10, close my bracket, and because I had two opening brackets, I need two closing brackets. And finally, our solution for a is this side minus this side. And there we have it. 63. I'll explain what these are in a moment, but to, fi to finalize our regression equation, we need to write a and b in linear in the in the least squares regression form. Y is equal to a plus bx. So our solution is y equals 63 Our regression equation is written as y equals 63 plus 0.4367x. And this again tells us with the slope coefficient known as b, there's a positive relationship between the two variables. And the 63 here is an autonomous coefficient, meaning that if GDP per capita was zero, in other words, if a country did not have any income, the life expectancy amongst these 10 countries will be 63 years of age. For every $1,000 increase in GDP per capita, expressed as one, if I multiply that one by 0 0.43, it 
it means that life expectancy will go up by approximately half a year. So the wealthier the country becomes, the higher the life expectancy amongst these 10 countries. So let's just confirm this through our scatter graph. So again, we just highlight your variables, create a scatter. Again, you can check these out in previous videos. I just want to get rid of these grid lines. Format the axis to a minimum of say 30. And then we just click on, right click on any of these coordinates, add your trend line, go to options and display your equation. And again, I like to put in my A value first, noting that my slope is positive. And there we have it. So why not check out the next video where I'll just do a quick run through of calculating the correlation coefficient and the coefficient of determination. We already have it here, it's R squared. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and watch my other videos. See you next time.